students uh, fourth lesson combinatorics and mathematical induction <coughs> so this lesson it is useful for the principles of counting and applying in the various situations uh, second point to compute the number of ways in arranging a set of distinct objects to compute the number of ways in arranging a set of distinct objects to compute the number of arrangements from a set containing identical objects to compute and apply it to find the number of combinations of a set of different objects last one the obligations of the principle of mathematical induction So there are some fundamental principles of counting. First fundamental is sum rule. Second one, the product rule. Third one, <coughs> inclusion and exclusion. So there are three fundamental rules, sum rule, product rule, inclusion and exclusion principle. So first we are going to see sum rule. So sum rule, let us consider two tasks. Let us consider two tasks A and B. Two tasks uh, which need to be completed. If the first task can be completed in M different ways. First task can be completed in m different ways and the second task can be completed in n different ways. And if these cannot be performed simultaneously, then there are how many ways? m plus n ways. That is m plus n ways. So that is called sum rule. So once again, let us consider two tasks which need to be completed. If the first task can be completed in m different ways, and the second task can be completed in n different ways and this cannot be performed simultaneously then there are m plus n ways of doing either task then product rule let us suppose that task comprises of two procedures if the first procedure can be completed in m different ways and the second procedure can be done in <coughs> n different ways. And the total number of ways completing the task is m into n. So there are two procedures, m and n. Then the total number of ways to completing that task, m and n is m cross n, m into n. The last one is inclusion and exclusion principle. For example, <coughs> suppose two tasks A and B can be performed simultaneously. Let N of A and N of B represent number of ways of performing the task A and B. So there are two tasks A and B. The task performing A is N of A. The task performing B is N of B. independent of each other. Also let n of a intersection b be the number of ways of performing the two tasks simultaneously. We cannot use the sum rule to count the number of ways of performing one of the tasks as that would lead to over counting. To obtain the correct number of ways, we add the number of ways of performing each of the two tasks and then subtract the number of ways doing both the tasks simultaneously. This method is referred to as a principle of inclusion, exclusion using the notation of set theory we write it as. So both the task means n of a intersection b. So this can be written as n of a union b equal to n of a plus n of b minus n of a intersection b. This we call it as inclusion exclusion principle. <coughs> See the 
example, for point 1. Suppose all of you take the textbook in your hand because I am not writing the question. I am reading the question. I will solve it in the board. Okay? Solve it on the board. Suppose one girl or one boy has to be selected for a competition from a class comprising 17 boys and 29 girls. So in a class, 17 boys and 29 girls. In how many different ways can this selection be made? So out of this uh, 17 boys and 29 girls, one boy have to select and one girl this, suppose one girl or one boy or sorry, one girl or one boy has to be selected for a competition. So out of 17 boys, if we select one boy means 17 ways we can select. Am I right? So out of 29 girls, so one girl we have to select. So out of 29, one girl we are going to select. So how many ways? 29 ways. So total number of total number of ways equal to 17 plus 29 that you have to add it so 17 plus 29 equal to <coughs> 46 then example 4.2 Consider the three cities, Chennai, Tirichi and Tirunelveli. In order to reach Tirunelveli from Chennai, one has to pass through Tirichi. There are two roads connecting Chennai with Tirichi and there are two, three roads connecting Tirichi with Tirunelveli. What are the total number of ways of travelling from Chennai to Tirunelveli? So if you draw the diagram, it is easy for you. There are three cities, Chennai, Tirichi, Trinalveli, Trinalveli. <coughs> so from Chennai to Tirichi there are two roads. So if you consider R1 first road, R2 second road. Then Trinalveli to Trinal, uh, sorry, Tirichi to Trinalveli there are three roads. S1, S2, S3. So we have to find what we have to find. What are the total number of ways of travelling from Chennai to Tirunelveli? If we want to travel from Chennai to Tirunelveli, uh, what are the ways? So R1, come on, S1, first chance. Then R1, come on, S2. Then R1 comma S3. Then if we if we select the second road R2, R2 comma S1, then R2 comma S2, then R2 comma S3. So number of ways is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 ways. You can select that is the answer. Understand? Example 4.3 A school library has 75 books on mathematics. <coughs> 75 books on mathematics, 35 books on physics. A student can choose only one book. In how many ways a student can choose a book on mathematics or physics? So, if your student want to select mathematics books means how many ways? Uh, number of ways, number of ways of selecting 
mathematics book equal to 75 plates. The number of plates of selecting physics book equal to 35 plates. So you want to select uh, mathematics or physics book means total number of plates. Number of ways of selecting equal to seventy five plus thirty five. That is equal to hundred and hundred and ten. That's five plus five ten hundred and ten la hundred and ten weeks. Example 4.4 If an electricity consumer has the consumer number say 238 238 is to 110 is to 29 Then describe the linking and count the number of house connections up to 29th consumer connection link to the larger capacity transformer number 238 which is larger subject to the condition that each smaller capacity transformer can have a maximal consumer length of say 100 this is smaller capacity consumer number of consumer 29 so <coughs> so here 110 is there correct so 109 transformers means it links to each transformer links to one a uh, hundred consumers. Each transformer links to or connect to hundred consumers. So hundred and nine means uh, hundred and nine into hundred consumers. So that is equal to one thousand one zero nine zero zero consumers. That remaining hundred and one one transformer is there. So, 110th transformer links to how many consumers? 29 consumers. Am I right? Hundred and tenth transformer, that is one transformer. One transformer in that is 1 into 29 equal to 29. 29. Therefore, the total what they asked. Uh, total number of consumers linked to 238 the larger capacity transformer is total number of consumers consumers linked to linked to 238 the larger <coughs> capacity transformer equal to we have added 1000 Then example 4.5 A person wants to buy a car <coughs> There are two brands of car available in market And each brand has three models, variant models And each model comes into five different colors As in the account In how many ways she can choose a car to buy so there are there are two brand cars. First brand, second brand. So first 
first brand and second brand. How many models? There are three models. Three models and five different colors. So you write. We want to select a car on car. So two into three into five. Am I right? That is equal to thirty. <coughs> two three sir six six five sir thirty. So how you write the step? <coughs> yeah, brand car can be chosen in two ways. A yeah, model can be chosen in three ways, and a color can be chosen in five ways. A yeah, brand can be chosen in two ways. A yeah, model can be chosen in three ways. Yeah, color can be chosen in five ways. So total number of ways of selecting a car is two into three into five. That is equal to thirty ways. Example four point seven, sorry four point six, four point six. Yeah, <coughs> yeah. Woman wants to select one silk sari and one sungudi sari from a textile shop located at Kanjibram. In that shop, there are twenty different varieties of silk sari and eight different varieties of sungudi saris. In how many ways she can select her saris? So there are two types: silk sari and sing sari. So how many silk saris are there? Twenty different varieties. So twenty here, eight. So out of these twenty, one have to select. Am I right? So twenty ways. Then out of eight, one have to select. So Eight ways, so twenty into eight, that is equal to one sixty ways. So, so the step you can write like this: the woman can select silk sari in twenty ways. The woman can select silk sari in twenty ways, and the second type of sari in eight ways. So therefore, total number of ways of selecting these two sarees is. Twenty into eight, that is equal to one sixty ways. The next example four point seven. In a village, out of the total number of people. Eighty percentage of the people own coconut groves, and sixty-five percentage of people own paddy field. What is the minimum percentage of the people own both? So total in your village, how many percentage? Hundred percentage of people. So coconut. So n of c coconut groves can be written as n of c equal to how many percentage? 80 percentage. Then in of paddy field, paddy field owner is how many percentage? 65 percentage. Am I right? 65 percentage. So <coughs> total in of C union P equal to 100 percentage. So we have to find in of A. Sorry, in of C intersect intersection P equal to uh, according to the Inclusion exclusion principle. How you write n of c plus n of p minus n of c intersect c union p. That is equal to <coughs> yeah, 80 plus 65 minus 100. Am I right? Percentage of the people who want both minimum percentage of 
people who want both coconut as well as paddy field is 45 percent. for dinner. In the menu card, a person saw 10 Indian and 7 Chinese food items. In how many ways the person can select either an Indian or a Chinese food? So there are <coughs> uh, Indian, <coughs> Indian food and Chinese food. So how many Indian foods are there? A person saw 10 Indian and 7 Chinese food items. So in how many ways the person can select either, either an Indian or a Chinese food. So the number of ways of selecting Indian food equal to 10 ways. Number of selecting Chinese food equal to uh, 7 ways. Therefore total number of ways, total number of ways of selecting uh, Indian food or either Indian food or Chinese food equal to 10 plus 7 that is equal to 17 ways. Uh, first question, second part. There are three types of toy car and two types of toy train available in your shop. Find the number of ways a baby can buy a toy car and a toy train. toy car and a toy train. <coughs> toy car and a toy train. So number of ways of selecting toy car is how many ways? Three. Uh, two. So find the number of ways baby can buy a toy car and a toy train. Both. Toy, number of ways of ways of selecting a toy car and a toy train equal to 3 into 2 that is equal to 6 ways. numbers can be formed using the digit 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 without repetition of digits so we have to form two digit numbers uh, tenth place and unique place so two digit numbers uh, suppose here first digit can be filled by how many ways 5 Remember right? 1 2 3 4 5 Second number can be filled by 4 ways. So 5 into 4 equal to 20 ways. So the step we have to write like this. Uh, <coughs> the number of uh, ways, the 10th place can be filled in 5 ways. Number of uh, ways, that unit place can be filled in 4 ways. Because repetition is not allowed. So total 5 numbers, 5 into 4, that is equal to total number of ways is 5 into 4, 20. So, <coughs> fourth part. Three persons enter into a conference call in which there are ten seats. In how many ways they can take their seats? 
three persons. Three persons enter into a uh, conference call. Conference call. There are ten chairs. Ten chairs. So how many ways they can be seated? So first chair can be selected in three persons. What they asked? Uh, three persons enter a conference call in which there are ten seats. In how many ways they can take their seats? So first person can first person, second person, third person. So ten ways here, nine ways here, eight ways. So ten into nine into eight, that is equal to nineteen into eight. Zero and it's a seven. So seven twenty ways. Am I right? So fifth sum, fifth part you try to do as homework, okay? Fifth part. At least one sum you just try. Right.